Have you been involved in a car accident and now have neck or back pain? Well, this is not an ad for a medical provider or a chiropractor, obviously. But uh, if you have experienced these injuries, you may be wondering, okay, do I need to get a car accident lawyer involved in my case? And when? So we get these questions a lot here at St. Petersburg Personal Injury Attorneys McQuaid and Douglas. Our advice after every single car accident is always to contact the police. Make sure that law enforcement goes to the scene, documents who is at fault, and then they'll leave you with a driver's exchange of information. Next, make sure you go out and get emergency medical treatment as soon as possible. Again, even if you only have moderate neck to back pain, you need to get yourself checked out as soon as possible after the accident. Many of our clients mistakenly believe that they have 14 days to go out and be seen by a doctor. And while that is correct in, for, for uh, your PIP or no-fault insurance benefits, it does not help your car accident claim. If you have waited days or even up to 14 days to go see a doctor for your neck or back pain, the insurance company, when we send out a demand, is going to look at us and question how severe your injuries could have been. So our advice is to always go out and be seen as soon as possible. Now, if you've gone to the hospital or you've gone into a walk-in or urgent care clinic, you will likely need to be sent back out for some type of treatment on your accident case. And we can help you with that. So the next piece of advice that we have after a car accident is to contact a car accident lawyer, and if it's us, that's great. We'll refer you out to qualified doctors who will provide excellent medical care, be gentle with the billing, and also improve the records for the maximum recovery in your case. So we'll send you out to these medical professionals, and they'll be able to diagnose whatever the extent of your injuries are, work up the claim, and then provide us the medical records and other information that we need uh, in order to submit our demand to the insurance company at the end of the day. So those are really the, the, the primary steps that you'll need to take after being involved in a car accident with neck or back pain. If you have been involved in a car accident and your neck or back have been injured, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you get better quickly, but if you have any questions, please contact us at St. Petersburg Personal Injury Attorneys McQuaid and Douglas for a free consultation.